All right, day two, no work today, so slept in a little bit, got started a little bit later. All right, so some other health benefits to doing this every day. Uh, the cold water helps tighten the skin on your face, so that long-term battle of wrinkles that we're all scared of getting, um, this is definitely a way to start combating that. Um, it also helps fight acne, so if you have any enlarged or swollen um, pores on your face, this will help with that swelling and bring them down. Uh, lastly, I'm no expert, uh, but if you listen to Andrew Huberman, he talks about this activating your mammalaman dive reflex, which pretty much overloads your two essential organs, your heart and your brain, with oxygen, allowing your nervous system to calm down, um, which ultimately will help alleviate stress and anxiety throughout the day. Normally, I put creatine with my pre-workout, but now that I'm not taking pre-workout during this challenge, I'm throwing the creatine in the coffee, and honestly, you can't even taste it. One thing I want to share from the reading today um, is that Arthur talks about the highest level of satisfaction can't come without a setback or a roadblock. Now this makes sense and his example is if, if you have a test you need to take and you study for weeks and you put in the time and the work and you get an A, you feel like everything you did was worth it. If you go take that same test and you didn't study and you decided to cheat on it, the level of satisfaction is nowhere near putting in that time and work and effort to get to that A. Alright, post reading, pre-workout, got to get a little bit of food in me. going to do the same pre-workout snack as I did yesterday on day one. It's going to be about one serving of 0% Greek yogurt, a full banana, a little bit of raw organic honey on top, um, drizzled with some cinnamon as well. Uh, cinnamon is really good for inflammation. So this, this snack gets me everything, gets me protein, gets me carbs, gets me sugar, um, and allows me to have a good workout. Alright, favorite day in the gym, arms and shoulders. Um, I've started there gunning my arms because if I just go do a warm-up lift, even with 10 pounds, my triceps and biceps tend to get a little bit tight and it affects the rest of my lift. Um, and this has been a really good thing in preventing that. Um, so I'm going to keep doing that and I recommend it if you need it as well. All right, I always start my arm day with a couple rounds of push-ups. I feel like it really activates my shoulders and triceps and also allows me to warm up the body. I like to start every arm and shoulder day with lateral raises. It's a good way to start with lightweight, build up, get a good burn going, get a good pump going, and I really feel like the rest of my workout is much more efficient because of it. Now, I've been asked why I'm not posting uh, my whole lifts and recording my whole lifts. One, because it's very time consuming, and two, because that's not the whole challenge. The challenge is stick to the diet, do the workouts, have a gallon of water, read a book, no alcohol, take the progress picture. It's about doing all these things in equal parts and committing to that for 75 days. So I wanna feel like every part is equal in the videos. Okay, back from the gym. Ground beef is cooking, it's almost done. I've got some chicken that I'm gonna throw in the crock pot for dinner tonight, do like a shredded chicken dish. Um, didn't wanna speak in the turf room today like I did yesterday, just due to people being in there without headphones on, a lot of new people, um, didn't wanna disturb them. So I decided that I would record this at home, but was able to get my shoulders and arms and abs workout in. It was about an hour and five minutes again, I think. And then I did a five minutes of Theragun and five minutes of stretching afterwards. Um, so now I'm going to go get a haircut because this is a mess and shave because it looks terrible. Um, and then I'll be back for workout number two. Quick glimpse at the meal. You can already imagine. Ground beef and eggs. Simple as that. All right, we got a shave in. We got a new haircut. Feeling better. Um, it's three o'clock here. I'm on my way to Lululemon to check out some clothes. I got some gift cards for Christmas, so hoping to maybe use those today. Um, gonna go on a run, like I said, in a little bit. Now I was looking at my bartending schedule. Um, I will be at the bar till 3 a.m. Thursday night, 3 a.m. Friday night, and 3 a.m. Saturday night. Um, and on Friday and Saturday, I gotta be back at 4 p.m. So I apologize if those videos are 
short or not clear or whatever. I'm, I'm gonna have about a 12 hour window to sleep, get two workouts in, get my water going, um, get my meals in. So it's gonna be a tough weekend, um, but I will hopefully be able to post all of them on time. Um, just bear with me. Some pre-run fuel right here, Greek yogurt, banana, and some blueberries. Okay, uh, second workout is done, it's 7.15, and I've gotta say that I'm really excited to go eat. Um, here's my results. Went on a little run. Um, Try to keep the pace slow so I didn't run super far. Um, just in terms of trying to, you know, with two workouts a day, it's gonna get tiring, so I don't need to go full out on these runs when I do run. Um, but a little reflection as I get my grounding done for the day. Um, the hardest part so far has been like not snacking on bad things. Like, I find myself a couple times today, like, looking in the fridge or, like, looking in the pantry, the cabinets, whatever, trying to find something. Um, you know, I just want to grab, like, a piece of chocolate or, like, we have crackers and stuff like that. And um, it's really hard to not just grab a couple of those while you're watching TV or while, I'm, you know, editing these videos. Um, and, you, you know, nowadays you don't just look at a piece of fruit and be like, that's what I'm going to have. And so I'm trying to adjust my body to do that. Um, I think it's going to get better. It's just going to take time to get used to not having those processed sugars and those, you know, seed oils and stuff that make you want to go back for more. Um, so I'm going to keep everyone updated on that. I'm going to journal about that a little bit. And I think that should get better in probably a week or two. Um, so, but yeah, I'm super excited to go eat. So I'm going to put my shoes and socks back on now. Okay, dinner time. Um, like I said, I was going to put that chicken in the crock pot. So I cooked that in some kettle and fire bone broth and I restrain that out. I'll use it later for like chicken noodle soup or to put that in some rice, give the rice some flavor and some protein. Uh, and then I roasted up some onions, peppers, and mushrooms. So I'm going to make just a giant little bowl. I bought some avocado too. I'll throw some of that in there. Um, but that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. All right, this came out great. I've got enough for probably two more meals in the fridge. Um, I also squeezed a full lime on top, which really did wonders for the taste. All right, two days down, only 73 to go. Um, as always, at the end of this video will be my progress pictures, the outline of the 75 hard guidelines, and my dad's Apple Watch picture. Uh, he's two for two. I'm very proud of him. I don't know when the last time he did two workouts in a row. Um, so he's keeping me motivated. I hope I'm keeping him motivated. Um, I had some thoughts during my run that I wanted to write down in my journal, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go to bed early tonight. I'm pretty tired.